My setup typically changes every year to help field test and practice and look at new products. And this year I'm going to be shooting the Blackout NV3. The last couple of years I've been shooting the Blackout NV32. Both of these bows are high performance bows that perform really, really well. This particular bow is, if you look at it, uh, you know, I've got a blackout stabilizer. I'm a big fan of stabilizers. I think there's a lot of balance that, that uh, really helps, uh, you know, people in a lot of different situations, a lot of different hunting deals. I use a wrist strap on all mine. I think that's pretty common for everybody. I hold my bow very loose after I shoot. It's just something I've done. Everybody holds it a little different. Uh, I use a drop away rest that I picked up at Bass Pro and, and Cabela's as well. You know, this is that type of rest that when you when you let go, it just drops down like that and the arrow goes forward from there. Uh, I shoot the Garmin Zero sight. I've uh, shot it since the beginning of, of these sights being launched. This is, uh, you know, one of the later generations or the newer generations, I guess I should say, that allows you all types of minute adjustments. So when you get this sight out of the box, it's very easy to set up. Now this isn't what people think it is, that it transmits a dot on the target. Everything is inside of the sight itself. So it really eliminates the need for you to have a range finder in most all hunting situations, if not all of them, because you range it, you let it, you let the button go right here. This is the range button. You let it go. It drops the pin in the housing based on your bow, your setup for your bow, the speed of your bow, the aerodynamic diameter, and basically what you're looking at doing. It's very unique in the situations that so many people are looking for out in the field. And then finally, I'm shooting a micro diameter arrow for probably the fourth or fifth year now. I'm a big fan of this. I use lighted knocks and I'm using a, a Blackout Gator uh, expandable broadhead for this particular hunt that I'm on. I use fixed broadheads in other hunts and all of these really set up to dial in exactly for me personally what I like in a bow, what I'm hoping to have in performance in the field, but I'll tell you even with the best equipment in the world and I practice a lot because I like to shoot, you still got to control all those emotions out in the field. You got to keep that buck fever under control. You got to hit the same anchor points and, and make it all happen once you're out in the field. But I know that my equipment is going to perform well when I climb up in a tree stand or climb into a ground blind. I just got to do the rest once I'm out there.